Hey everyone, it's Arrow Dragon, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy! In the last episode, oh, we did a lot of stuff in Battle Rock, and we have a prankster comment there to start us off. Okay, let's get to that. So, that's what we're doing in this episode. Yeah, I remember this one. Top Maniac's Daredevil Run. But, considering Top Maniac is a joke, I don't have much to worry about. Yes. I start by second on the way in. Twelve, okay. Okay, Top Maniac, let's do this. One. Oh. Oh. Two. Three, I win. <laughs> you can, yeah, seriously, you can, even if at one HP, he's a joke. So, yeah, that's not much to it. Okay, anyways, let's get a move on. We're done in Battle Rock for the time being, and now we're gonna move on to this, and then we're gonna move on to the big one. Hurry, scurry, galaxy! Yeah, this won't take long, this will take like 30 seconds tops. Shrinking satellites. Yep, this is all there is to it. it Let's see how long this actually takes me. I'm at 2:35 now. What do you say? Yeah, the floor tiles shrink. So we gotta hurry, hurry, or as they say, hurry, scurry. <laughs> anyway, let's get a move on. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Go! Okay, I think it's, okay, you see the music notes? That's what we gotta do. Well, it wasn't 30 seconds, but it was less than a minute. It was actually about a minute. 50 seconds, okay. <laughs> okay, like I said, that wasn't gonna take long at all. Very straightforward galaxy. Okay, that leaves only one thing left in the Fountain Dome. Bowser Star Reactor. The Fiery Stronghold. Let's do this. I got a nice Super Mario 64 rep remix going on here, which is actually pretty fitting. This is very reminiscent of Bowser in the Sky. Okay. Dude. Give us a one up off the bat, that's uh, that's pretty telling. By the way, don't try and stick to the underside of this plat these platforms, it won't work. And it looks like Flood, but Flood has turned against us, why? Ouch! Oh god. <laughs> That did look like a red flood, didn't it? Okay, watch for the gravity in this area. There's a black hole over there, so yeah. 
I guess. Oh, up, 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 up. I should have followed my own advice. But then again, I got hit by a fire, so it wasn't entirely my own fault. Except, yes, it was. Just, I'm, I should really stop trying to save face here. No, oh, that was close. What's the wind blowing? We're in space. Oh, oh. Whew, that was close. Okay. Everybody's back to normal. Sort of. Okay, got more evil floods. I'll take that. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I'll take that too. Look, there's Bowser! He's come to say hi! And the only way he knows how, by raining death on us! RUN! Get the life shroom! <laughs> Whew. How does he breathe meteors? That doesn't even make sense! You finally made it! Just in time for me to stomp you in a space pit! Or you can stomp that and burn your butt! Da -da 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 -da. Get out of here! And apparently the spines on his back are retractable. That's pretty interesting. Okay, watch the shockwaves. Watch the jump, and boom! I love how dy I love the dynamic music we get here. Like, you've added vocals when, when, when you're ready to attack Bowser. It's like it's encouraging you. Got him! <laughs> That's two! And he ain't happy about it! Hey Bowser! Come get me! Wow, he really took that invitation. One! Two! And three! <laughs> what? How? Foolish Mario, my plan is too far along now. You really think you could stop me? <laughs> yeah, you better run! Here's the Grand Star. Da 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 You got a, you got a Grand Star. Da da da. Okay, making great progress. Got more lights on in the observatory, and a new dome. 27. Fourteen forty-four. A new galaxy in the kitchen. Four of them, jeez. We rescued another grand star, and powers return to another dome in the back of the observatory. Hmm, but I still don't think we have the star power we need to fly the observatory through the universe. The villain who kidnapped your special one took her far from you, to the center of the universe. Once our star power is restored, the observatory will be able to go there. 
and you can reunite with your special one. No. Okay, we're done with the fountain, so let's head to the kitchen! But first, let's... Uh, can we not do this yet? No. Library's not open yet. Actually, if I remember correctly, isn't there... Yes, there is a one-up! Nope. Whoa. <laughs> Good thing you can't die here. Come on, game, let me show off. There we go. Who needs to swing back around when you can be stylish? I like how the big I like how the cups and utensils are outside the dome. There we go, getting distracted by superfluous stuff. Anyway, we're at it's been eleven, so I still got time. An enemy base in the area already? Okay. <laughs> I mean, we're not doing that anywhere close to now. We still got four, four of the galaxies to do. Anyway, let's see what this one is. We got Beach Bowl! Okay. Sunken Treasure! Ooh, exciting! Got n n nice beach music, got the penguins, penguins are adorable. Okay, swing on the vine! Yahoo! Woohoo! That's fun. Is anything over here? Okay, gotta look around for sunken treasure! What's in here? Hmm. Whoa! I did. I didn't think. I didn't think I break blocks below me. Jeez. Okay. bits! That, that was a nice find. That Goomba was still dizzy. Wow. <laughs> I like how I made the ju the jump sound even when he didn't jump. Oh, okay, got a swing, and we got a one up. Stuck it, yes. Okay, let's go down. Cause where else are we gonna find sunken treasure? Okay, got could spin in the water. Ooh, I see a star chip. The controls I can handle. Oh, inverted, right. Hey, Star Chips give you air for some reason. That's pretty weird. Star chips in the area. Camera work me here. Okay, where where are the star chips? Oh. Man, where am I looking? There's one. Is it in here? No. 
Where's that fifth one? No, it's not, no, not there either. Where is that fifth one, actually? I don't see it anywhere. Hmm. There it is. Got it. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, I looked away for a sec because I had a message on my phone. There it is. Go! Okay, you got a big coin. Yeah! Big switch! What does it do? Makes platforms appear. But they're timed, I gotta move. Oh, oh, pfft. oh pfft. That sucks. Go! Okay, ignoring that one up because I need to move. Ball jump time! Okay, got that. Uh, just give me one second, I gotta do something. Sorry about that. Okay, uh... I think I have time. Oh! Rosalina Storm- Oh, okay. Ulti- Uh, oh, I'm gonna go number two. Mm. I think I'll save that for next time, and I'll cap off the episode with a storybook. So yeah, let's go do that. And, uh... Did I screw up my recording? I hope not. I, I yanked yank, yank your audio cable a little bit. Hopefully, it doesn't screw things up. Okay, Lumas are all gathered for story time. Let us begin. Let us begin. Chapter 1, The Celestial Duo One story begins a very, very long time ago with a young girl. One day this girl spotted a rusted spaceship holding a small star child. What's your name? Are you lost? The girl asked the star child. I'm Luma, and I'm waiting for Mama. She's coming for me on a comet, said the star child, who had been waiting day and night. 
Don't worry, I'll wait with you, the little girl promised. At nightfall, the little girl bor borrowed her father's telescope and peered into the sky. She looked and looked, but saw nothing. Hours turned into days and then years, and the sky revealed nothing. Finally, the little girl sighed and said to Luma, If we stay here looking much longer, I'll be an old lady soon. But she, then she had an idea. Why don't we go out there and find your mother ourselves? The girl and Luma fixed up the rusty spaceship, and then the two set sail into the starry sky. And this is how the search for the celestial mother began. Chapter 2 Star Bits Days passed with no sign of a comet or even a single planet. Instead, asteroids extended for as far as the eye could see. If I had known it was going to take this long, I would have packed more jam, said the little girl, above the rumble of her belly. Before they left, they packed all the essentials. Telescope, butterfly net, stuffed bunny, bread, milk, jam, and apricot flavored tea, but... I forgot to bring water. At this, Luma burst into gales of laughter, and the girl began to pout. As long as I have my star bets, I'll be fine. Want some? The little girl couldn't stay mad after hearing this. Luma continued to laugh, and the girl couldn't help but join in. Alright, maybe just a nibble. Leaning out far of the ship, the pair began to collect star bets with the girl's net. It almost fell out a few times, but they kept on collecting. The starbits tasted like honey. Chapter 3 The Comet The beam of light pierced through the ship's window. Thinking it was the morning sun, the girl peered through the window, only to find a turquoise blue comet shimmering at her. The little girl shook the sleeping Luma awake, shouting excitedly, We have to get to that comet! The pair descended on the comet and found it was made of ice. It looked high and low, but Luma's mother was nowhere to be found. Exhausted, the little girl sat down with a flop, utterly unable to take another step. Look! Peering down on the icy ground where Luma was pointing, the girl sent those clusters of star bits encased in the ice. Read again, huh? Finding star bits is my specialty, said Luma, beaming. There's ice here, but it's so warm. I bet there's water here, too. Do you continue to stay on the comet for a while? Right into a course comet, the pair continued their search for Luma's mother. And that's it for now. That should do it for today. And yeah, that'll do it for this episode, because I'm at 23, so I think it's a good place to call it. Next time on Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy, we're going to continue in the kitchen and see what the hungry Luma has to offer. See you guys next time. Take care.